Hello, everybody, and welcome to another podcast today with us. We have the CEO of Aspar, Dr. Fahad bin Amshad. Dr. Fahad, Fahad, thank you very much for being on board with us today. Oh, you're welcome, Jenna. Thank you so much for having me. Dr. Fahad, I heard, I personally heard so much about you, but I would love uh, for you to tell us more about yourself. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I heard, I hope you heard uh, good things. <laughs> well, look, I've been in, uh, with as far as a CEO almost now for almost two years. And uh, I've been in the corporate world for almost more than two decades, you know, the span in mostly uh, private sector and a bit on the public sector, and then I became the CEO of uh, Asfar. And I hope, you know, uh, in Asfar, I think it's a beautiful to be part of the uh, tourism ecosystem within Asfar. Absolutely. I, I think they did not mistake choosing you to be the CEO, and we look forward to seeing what comes next. Could you give us an overview of Asfar's mission and objective in the context of Saudi Arabia's tourism sector? Asfar was created uh, as a full subsidiary of uh, the Southern Wealth Fund, uh, Saudi BIF, uh, in order to play a major role, actually a leading role in the uh, tourism ecosystem. We are mandated to build cities and make them so attractive for local visitors and international visitors by capitalizing on the DNA, the culture, the authenticity of those beautiful cities within the kingdom. And one of our mission as well, one of our mission as well is really to lead uh, and to co invest with the private sector in order to uh, fulfill uh, the gap within those uh, tier two cities by co-investing and partnering with the public sector and the private sector as well. So we know that Saudi is trying to attract about 100 million visitors annually in 2030. How, tell us a little bit more of how the contribution will, will be planned out from Asfar. Well, look, the Ministry of Tourism have, uh, you know, created the, uh, you know, uh, Saudi Tourism uh, Vision 2030 strategy uh, and in general, uh, tourism and sports within the uh, Fission 2030 are one of the most important pillars. And, and you see what's happening today in, in the sports arena. Therefore, we are in the tourism. We're mandated to really help uh, 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 and contribute a major role in the uh, fulfilling the vision of 2030, i.e. part of the vision is 100 million visitors. So we will be investing left and right all over the country uh, in beautiful destinations, building massive assets, investing in different uh, sectors within the value chain of the tourism and the ecosystem from destination management companies, tour operators, hospitality, entertainment, FMB. So we are going to heavily invest and therefore contribute to the local communities, providing employment and diversifying the economy. Okay, so, so in a nutshell, ASPAR focuses on the local projects, the local initiatives. Uh, that embed into the tourism uh, and hospitality sector. Are there any projects that you can tell us about or something that you are interested to, to, to overtake or undertake in the next coming years? Sure. Um, look, Saudi Arabia is a massive city, a uh, country with beautiful destination all over the country. So from the south to the north, east, west, each destination we go to has its own different DNA. And therefore, we really capitalizing on the DNA of those destinations by providing the right offering that fulfill the gap and build the whole ecosystem. So we're not in the business of hospitality only. We are ecosystem from building those destinations to investing in sites that are cultural, heritage, religious in nature. 
we are there to activate those destinations. And therefore, we have, you know, as a strategy, uh, created our first mandate, prioritize cities by screening, scouting, and working with the, all the stakeholders, Ministry of Tourism, TDF, and the like, in order to prioritize these cities. We have already invested in Al Baha, and I can reveal what we have done in Al Baha because we just announced it in uh, Cityscape. Where in Al Baha, we are building uh, uh, an agricultural tourism in the mountains, full offering of hospitality, entertainment, FMB, and retail. It's targeting mid to upper segments for uh, you know local Saudis and international visitors. Our product there is called Qabra, uh, Qamra uh, Mountain Resort Adventure Park. It's three different asset class with three different offering for the uh, customers. And inshallah, coming soon, uh, and unfortunately, sorry, I cannot reveal, but in, in, in next week in the uh, future hospitality summit, we'll announce the other destination that we are already in with our partners in the private sector. And within the following four months, Bihawlillah, we will be also uh, announcing four more destinations that will be, uh, our will, as far will be there. That's uh, beyond amazing. First and foremost, and I congratulate you uh, for the success that you are achieving and yet to achieve. I do have a last question, if you don't mind me. Are there specific areas within the tourism value chain that as far as prioritizing for investment and development? Well, look, at uh, you know, there are so many things that really the customers or the visitors are you know, uh, looking at or want to experience once they even decide from, you know, even if it's overseas, a visitor, we will provide all kinds of services and products that can really ease the journey for the visitors, either locally or internationally, from the day he thinks of coming to Saudi Arabia to providing him with the right packages to hosting him, to on the arrival, to the different destination in the kingdom, whether it's a religious uh, a tourism uh, pillar or cultural, or even you know uh, agricultural or traditional tourism. So we are working on all these domains. In order for us to fulfill that, we are in the business of making the city. So I will be investing assets that will have hospitality, entertainment. FMB, retail, I will be investing in destination that has cultural heritage sites. I will build an activation ecosystem around it. I will be doing strategic investments that really at the look, at the level of Saudi Arabia and even internationally if needed to bring the know-how to Saudi Arabia so I can really uh, fulfill all the gaps that exist in, within all the destinations that we target this year and the years to come. Dr. Fahad, this has been uh, fascinating for me. I am very proud of you and all of the Asfar team, and I wish you all uh, the luck, although I'm sure you don't need any luck at this point. However, we're excited to see you in FHS, and we're excited to hear the announcement there as well. Thank you so much for your time today. Much appreciated. Thank you, Jenna. Thank you. And uh, inshallah, maybe early next year, we'll host you in our resort in Al Baha. I'd love to. Awa'al minijikum. Awa'al minijikum. Thank you.